name is Aaron Hill and I work for Union Station Homeless Services. I'm their major gift officer. Union Station Homeless Services um, has been around for 50 years starting this month. We're very excited. It started in 1973 by a group of parishioners from All Saints Community Church in Pasadena. And uh, they were disturbed by the uh, amount of people who were living uh, on the streets uh, in, pa in one area of Pasadena. And so a few of them got together and, and formed a little uh, organization and started feeding those who, who needed it and providing some shelter and some meals. And, and that's how we started. And 50 years later, uh, we're still here uh, serving those uh, who are still being affected by, by homelessness. We are the preeminent uh, homeless services uh, provider uh, all over San Gabriel Valley. And so what that means is that we, we cover a uh, population of over 1.5 million people and over 36 cities and communities. And it takes so many volunteers, uh, staff, um, you know, board, uh, so, so many people and community members to, to, to support those efforts. Uh, since COVID, uh, we have served over 8,000 people uh, just since COVID began, and we have uh, uh, housed over 2,200 uh, people. And our success rate is 97%. And what that means and why we are so proud of the work we do and why we believe in the work we do, that we do is that that 97% are people who remain housed after coming through our program. So we're really proud about that. Yes, our community grant, um, which was $3,000, thank you so very much for that. We are so excited about that. Um, so we have, over the last... Uh, two or three years, we have grown exponentially. Uh, we have multiple sites uh, across uh, different uh, cities and communities. And, and uh, sp specifically, we have four interim housing sites that uh, we have uh, uh, grown since, since then. And so we have a very lean um, facilities team, but they do great work, but they only have a limited number of resources, budget, tools, that sort of thing. So this grant specifically is going to buy a set of uh, power tools, uh, plumbing supplies, basic uh, repair equipment, uh, electrical uh, supplies, things like that, so that our uh, team can um, have multiple tools in multiple locations. Right now, we're, we're lean. We only have a certain amount of tools in, in one location, and so we're not able to get as much repair and things done as, as possible. So this, this is important uh, because it now frees up that, and it gives us more resources so we can serve our clients who are housed at those locations. We are so thankful for the San Marino Community Church Foundation. You, you have been with us over the years and supported us in multiple ways, uh, but this year specifically, the, the grant uh, is really going to something that is needed on a day in and, and day out basis to make sure that our facilities are clean, that they're up to date, that they're working properly so that our clients can thrive and, and then um, you know return to, to a community a, a better person. And so this, this grant is so impactful. So thank you so very much. Hi, my name is James Lee. I am currently serving as the president of International Theological Seminary. ITS, we call ITS, it's been around for 40 years now. We just celebrated our 40th anniversary. ITS was founded to train and equip pastors and leaders from the majority world, and they are uh, being used by God as transforming agents to change their communities into the center of justice, worship, and mission. And we have now over 2,000 graduates who are serving actively in churches and local communities as pastors, leaders, and teachers and professors. And uh, we've been doing that for 40 years. Now we're expanding our mission to really serve our local communities in LA area, California, and beyond. We like to partner with local churches and we want to provide affordable, good quality education so that our graduates can serve in local churches. Um, to really help our local churches continue to serve God and serve communities faithfully. We like to use this grant to invest in our infrastructure. Uh, we plan to purchase uh, audio-visual equipments, and these equipments be used to um, provide good online experience for our students. Uh, I believe that worship is our uh, center of community and we worship uh, uh, every week on Tuesday, and they're gathered together uh, from all different parts of the world to worship together 
and um, we want to make this experience a valuable, enriching experience for all the people. So we're going to use the equipments to uh, create a virtual worship experience that can really bless them spiritually. Uh, but also we're going to um, try to create online classrooms that are really effective learning opportunity for our students. Well, thank you so much for your support uh, and your prayer that has made a significant difference in our institution, ITS. And uh, may God bless your ministry and your work. And we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. My name is Jennifer Berger, and I work for Five Acres. We are a children and family services organization, and we've been around for 135 years. So starting in 1888, we started as an orphanage, and we're the oldest agency now in LA that started as an orphanage. So we've had many steps as we've moved forward over the last 135 years, and we've expanded, because in terms of our mission to take care of children and their families and our three pillars, which is safety, well-being, and permanency, we've expanded to the arena of community-based, adoptions, foster care, even in private health care, so we can continue to take care of the children. But we started out as an orphanage, and our residential program is definitely our heart, so thank you. So this year, uh, the grant is going to fund our aquatic therapy program. So here at Five Acres, we have our own pool. It's been there for about 40 plus years, also thanks to generosity of donors. And with that, we're able to implement our therapeutic play, which is a huge part of the children who come to Five Acres. Many of them are coming from homes with neglect, with trauma in their life, and really we're there as part of the mental health that we provide the children to help build them up in terms of their therapy and, and really their strength in their well-being and safety. So with our aquatic program, you have specifically funded uh, kickboards, uh, noodles, which you can utilize in the pool, and new furniture because uh, we use it so much in the sun that wear and tear, it's the umbrellas and the chairs. So our rehab specialists in particular who work with the children specifically in the pool for their own safety in water play, but also in terms of that rehabilitation process say thank you. Tremendous thanks to the San Marino Community Church Foundation. Um, the work that you do in the community is extremely appreciated. As a organization whose headquarters is in our backyard right here in Altadena and serving the children in LA County along with other five counties, the work that you do and the support you do means so much to us when you, as a community partner, we're sharing the really challenge that we all have for foster children, and they're really all of our responsibilities. So thank you again for being a collaborator with us.